page 395, number 47. Find the exact values of the sine of u over 2, the cosine of u over 2, and the tangent of u over 2. And we're given that the sine of u equals 5 thirteenths, and that u is between pi over 2 and pi. And this here just tells us that this angle u between pi over 2 and pi must be in quadrant 2. So let's start by making a sketch of this angle. This angle u must be in quadrant 2 because it's between pi over 2 and pi. So I'm going to make my sketch like this. Here's angle u. Here's u prime. And we know the sine of this angle is 5 thirteenths. Well, since sine is opposite over hypotenuse, I can label these sides of this triangle. I can also solve this triangle and find this missing side. Now, since this dimension goes to the left, we need to make sure we label it as a negative 12. OK, so there's angle u. We need to now find the sine, cosine, and tangent of u over 2. So u over 2 would be half this angle. Half this angle would be something kind of like this. So I want to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of this angle right here. OK, so what I want to do is use my half angle formulas. So I'm going to write over here the sine of u over 2 equals. And the formula is plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of u all over 2. Well, cosine of u, we can find from our triangle we drew here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's write this as the square root of 1 minus negative 12 over 13 over 2. Now, let's just address this plus or minus right away. This plus or minus doesn't mean we're going to have two answers, one positive, one negative. It means our answer is either going to be positive or negative. We have to look at our diagram to determine that. Well, if I look at this angle here, if I drew a right triangle here, the sine would be positive because this opposite side is positive. In fact, the cosine would also be positive. So for plus or minus, I know my answer is going to be positive. I'm just going to put a plus sign here to remind me of that, but I'm not going to write that throughout this entire problem. Okay, let's continue. So I have 1 minus negative 12 over 13. I know that's going to be like 1 plus 12 thirteenths. And that 1, let's think of it as 13 over 13. So that's going to give me 13 plus 12, all over 13, all over 2, which I can write as 25 over 13, all over 2. Now, if I multiply top and bottom here by 1 half, here's what that'll give me. The square root of 13 plus 12 is 25. Multiply that by 1 half, that'll give me over 26. Multiply this by 1 half, that's over 1. I don't need that anymore. So I have the square root of 25, 26. The square root of 25 I know is 5. The square root of 26 I don't know. But I can rewrite this entire fraction as 5 times the square root of 26 all over 26. OK, so there's the sine of u over 2. Now the cosine of u over 2, I can find the same way. I'm going to bring that formula here first, plus or minus. Formula for a half angle of a cosine is plus or minus square root of 1 plus the cosine of u all over 2. So that equals, first of all, let's deal with the plus or minus. The cosine of this angle is positive, so I know this answer is going to be positive. The square root of 1 plus the cosine of angle u is negative 12 thirteenths all over 2. Now, this 1 I can write as 13 over 13. 13 plus negative 12 is going to be equal to 1 over 13. It's still over 2, and it's the square root of that fraction. Again, if I take half of the top and bottom fraction, I get the square root of 1 over 26. The square root of 1 I know is 1. The square root of 26 we don't know. So I can write this as the square root of 26 over 26. Last but not least, to find the tangent of u over 2. Now, there's a formula for a half angle of a tangent, but an easier way to find the tangent is to remember that tangent equals sine over cosine. So since I already found sine, I already found cosine, we can divide these two quantities. So if I take sine over cosine, the 26 will cancel. The square root of 26 will cancel. 
the tangent of u over 2 is just going to be equal to 5.